Hello, my name's Claire, and I'm so excited to be offering this class um, through the month of May, it's starting on Monday, I'm sorry, Saturday, May 1st, we're going to do a mindfulness retreat, 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. This is wonderful opportunity to kind of um, just give ourselves a break, give our mind a break. <laughs> set the kind of um, scene for the month, which is um, experimenting with a new approach to our working life where we're bringing in a bit more discipline in the sense of creating space for us to look after our mind, look after our good heart, uh, look after our energy, look after our um, happiness. So crafting what what's what we're looking at as a habit of mindfulness, right? So, so how can we develop a habit of mindfulness at work where and there's kind of two parts to this. So, so the first part, which we're really looking at in the retreat is um, establishing a daily practice, a daily meditation practice, establishing time on our calendar where we're prioritizing touching base with our peaceful good heart okay so this is like a, a, a daily commute within to our good heart where we're going to settle meet our spaciousness and grow that spaciousness identify with that spaciousness and start bringing that into our daily life so on the one hand how to sort of develop habits mindfulness habits where we build time into our daily life to, to relax the mind, access our inner peace, access our good intentions, our good, good loving kindness, so that we can then bring that into our work. So that's one side. And by starting with the retreat, hopefully this will help ground you in some really good experience of this. So the second part of this series, we're looking at extraordinary teachings Kadampa Buddhism particularly is really good at giving us practical teachings on how to almost train, well, I say almost truly, how to train in our daily life. So whatever our job is, so maybe in the ancient times, you know, there are these, I don't know, monks in caves, and maybe during the day they were tilling the earth, they were growing their vegetables and they understood that was their practice as much as sitting formal meditation um, going getting the, the water from the, the, the stream up the mountain, something like this. You know, today's world, it's maybe sitting in a Zoom meeting. <laughs> That's our tilling the earth. And we're, and we're encountering all sorts of rocks, we could say, in that, in that ground of our daily working life. Maybe there's difficult people, maybe there's challenging kind of, um, uh, interpersonal situations. Maybe there's projects just coming up and, and we're finding it stressful and so on. Kadampa Buddhism is fantastic because it teaches us all these practices, the meditation practices in the sense of training the mind, mindfulness practices, which in the context of Kadampa Buddhism really means actually holding the mind to virtue or positive objects. So in this series, we're going to that. We're, a, we're going to look at that mindfulness of, of actually creating space within our day to get expansive, peaceful, really tune into our potential and start growing our potential. And then we're going to look at on the go, in our job, how can we start transforming these situations so that they start becoming fertilizer for our spiritual practice, right? So, for example, the difficult person, and in week two, we'll be focusing on that difficult person. <laughs> we're going to look at some strategies of how this interaction can actually start becoming a real teacher to me. It can start actually encouraging me to practice beautiful new grooves within the mind, new response patterns. We can start to see, you know, this person, what they're doing, I'm interpreting as, as difficult, right? But actually that interpretation and that difficulty is actually arising within my own mind. They're triggering something within me, we could say whatever that is within me if i don't learn what that is and learn to start uh letting go of that habit 
developing some new healthier responses, if I don't deal with that, that difficult person's going to keep appearing in my life. So we're going to look at some mindfulness practices of actually how to start um, using some wisdom teachings and compassion teachings to uh, give us new ways of responding to the situation.